In this lab, we're going to generate a given range. But first, to, before we know what the range is, we have to uh, find the acceleration of this ramp. So this, the ramp will all be, already be set up. We're going to assume there's no acceleration, that the ball doesn't slow down or speed up here. So the first thing we'll do is we'll drop the ball from the 100 or the 20, depends on how your ramp's set up. We're going to drop it 20 centimeters or 0 0.2 meters up from the base of the ramp. We're going to let it go. And you're going to measure this horizontal length. You also will need to measure the height of the table. From that, from those measurements, you should be able to calculate the theoretical time. We'll use the theoretical time for how long the ball takes to get from the table to where it landed. And then you can use your iPad to measure this distance. If you need to let it drop once and then do another trial to get, right up, get an up close uh, video so you can be more accurate on what the distance is, the horizontal distance is, you can do that. Once you find what this horizontal distance is, you're going to add 30 centimeters to it. That's 0 0.3 meters. Make sure we do everything in meters. So you're going to add 30 centimeters to this distance and that's your new goal. Okay. Now from the original range you should be able to calculate the velocity that the ball left the table with. Once you find that velocity you should be able to calculate the acceleration of this ramp. Once you know the acceleration of this ramp you should be able to calculate how far up you need to be to land on your new range. So let's go over this again. Your instructions will give you some ideas on how, how to do this. I let the ball, I, I know the height, so I calculate the time that's going to take the ball to go from the top of this table to the floor. I can do that theoretically using 9.8. I drop it 20 centimeters up. I now measure my horizontal distance. With the time and my horizontal distance, I should be able to find the velocity that it leaves here with. With that velocity, I should be able to calculate, I'm assuming that this distance doesn't matter. I'm assuming all my acceleration happens here. I should be able to find the acceleration of this ramp. Then I have a new, I'm going to add 30 centimeters, so I have a new range. To make that range, I haven't changed my height, so I know how long I have. I should be able to calculate the velocity I need. So I should be able to calculate how far up I need to go up the ramp to get that velocity. Then you run the trial. You see how close you are. You find your percentage error. Then you're going to estimate the error in your distance measurement, and you're going to show how that would impact you're predicted all the way through from if this is off by whatever your area is all the way through to what your predicted length would be and how that would affect your final result. Good luck.